Hey everybody, Doug here from Trigger King, um, here with another spotlight video. This time we're going to look at our Pro Modified trucks. So what I got in front of us here, this is a brand new Absolute Chaos uh, Generation 3 race truck, Clodbuster based. So our Pro Mod trucks are for the wild, uh, basically they're to mimic modern monster truck racing and freestyle, which you know, guys are doing double backflips and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, so this is a, a race bread truck, and let's have a look, because I know you guys are always wondering, what's the deal with the race clods? So here we go. This is a modern high-end race clod. Uh, again, this is an absolute chaos RC chassis. He is running um, twin Gropner 7.5 uh, motors, censored. So this thing hauls the mail. Um, we He actually has two ESCs, they're wired together in there. Uh, battery is super low here, it's down in the tub of the chassis or in the cradle. Um, this truck actually is one of our top runners in our, our freestyle and mod racing. So you can see on the clods what's different here. Um, you've got, you know, in addition to the motors and everything, the top link, this is a Sutton Motorsports uh, top four link mount and it also is sort of a chassis brace too it, it braces your gearbox it's made of delrin really nice um, he's running for steering a behind the axle setup here let's see if we can see that here um, you want to keep it behind the axle for a few reasons but one is if you're you know you're running hard you hit a ramp or something you want that behind the axle so you don't tag the uh, tag the servo or tag your linkage which would you know bust the linkage so Pretty much everybody running a race clod, uh, a high-end race clod, is going to be running a behind-the-axle steering. Um, on the rear here, you've got a standard uh, uh, rear lockout. This is also Sutton Motorsports. He sells these. Delrin, really nice lockout kit. Keeps that rear end planted. Uh, you do not want four-wheel steer on a race clod. I know some people, you know, you think because it's a monster truck, you want your four-wheel steer. You do not want four-wheel steer on a Pro Mod truck. It will just flip over immediately. These things are way too fast. Um, one of the other things here, you can see a sway bar setup. These things have really nice adjustable sway bars. Um, I don't think this truck even has a race day on it yet. Today's our first day for it, so it's going to look a little bit different at the end of the day. Um, one of the other things you would notice if you had this here, these trucks are heavy. Um, it's pretty interesting because you think, you know, I, I think a lot of people think that these trucks are super light, like you want to go light. And I know it's, uh, carbon fibers used, some guys do go lighter, um, but the thinking is here is much like it is in the real trucks nowadays, that a beefier chassis can help it absorb all the impact and the crazy stuff you do. So it's a little bit heavier of a truck. Uh, it flies very, very nice, or at least so uh, Bob says. This is uh, one of our racer Bob's, his truck um, isn't mine. So. That's about it uh, with these trucks. We do have some shaft trucks that race in the Pro Mods, but I figure what we're going to do here soon, we'll do a comparison video that showcases a shaft truck and a race clod, you know, next to each other. A little bit easier to just talk about it in a dedicated video there, but hopefully that explains a little bit better uh, with our Pro Mod trucks, you know, and what they are, especially with a mod clod. So we'll see you guys next time.